In this tip, I'm talking about overdoing it. All right, so what am I getting at? A lot of people, you know, they've trying to make changes to their swing, trying to work on moves and positions and stuff like that. Great. Problem is they try to do it exactly the right amount. And that is probably never gonna work because of human nature. Human nature wants you to be comfortable. Here's the example, okay? You have done a really long backswing, okay? So your friends all say, wow, you've got a really long backswing. So you get sick of them saying that and you go, hey, you know what, I should probably shorten my swing. So what you do is, instead of doing this really long swing, you try to go to a round parallel. Okay, so the first couple attempts might be in the right spot. But then, in two seconds, you're back to here again. And you never make the change. That is because human nature is telling you to be comfortable doing what you're doing. Okay, so you're comfortable right now doing this big, long backswing. This is uncomfortable. So that's why. You'll do this for a few moves, and then you'll go right back to what's comfortable again. So what I'm saying is, instead of trying to do something exactly the right amount, I want you to overdo it. So if you were someone, I'll use the example again, you're doing this big long backswing. To get this position right here, you need to only go to here. You'd have to overdo that change. Now, you'd really hate this position right here. This would feel super uncomfortable. So what would you do? You'd start going comfortable. Well, comfortable is right where you want to be. So you wouldn't go here. In a few swings, you'd go longer, 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 and now you're in the position you need to be in. So you could make a change like super fast. All right, so that's what I'm getting at. A lot of these changes I do for people, I need to do, the, do it super fast. 99% of my students come from all over the world. I've got very little time with people. You know, two hours, three hours, they might be here for a day or two. So I have to make massive changes usually in a very short period of time. So I need them to get these moves super fast. So what I tend to do is overdo things knowing the person will not do them that much. You know, like I just gave you the example of the long swing. All right, so whatever move you're working on, I want you to think about overdoing it. So one of my big ones is rolling the face over closed. Okay, so, you know, I've heard this for years, you know, don't roll it over. You're gonna be really inconsistent, okay? It's like, I don't want you to roll it over forever. You know, if someone is like this and they're hitting it with a massive slice, if you tell them to go from massive slice to dead square, in two seconds, they will be back to hitting massive slices again. That's because you're gonna go back to what's comfortable. Okay, so this is another example I'm giving you. So right here, if you started with that and you rolled it over and you hit it with that, that would be way overdone, wouldn't it? Yeah, and that would stop you slicing it. I know you're not gonna do that forever. You're gonna do it less, okay? I just need something to happen super fast. So I'm gonna make people overdo the move to then have them back it off, plus I would then back it off into the exact position after giving it a few minutes of them making that change. All right, there's a million of these different changes. I need you to think about what are you working on, okay? And I guarantee <laughs> you'll be nodding your head when you think to yourself after I say this, that you know whatever move you've tried to do in the past, you never made the change. You've tried to change this, 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 and this, and you know what, it never happens. That's because you never overdo it. Human nature's telling you to go back to what's comfortable. You're comfortable doing your move, so you never do the new one enough to get it into your swing. Okay, so now, try it differently. Do what I said. Make this stuff more than what you think. Overdo it. Maybe go to a mirror or a window, understand what you're trying to do, uh-oh, big long swing, I need it here, but to get here, I gotta go here. Watch it in a mirror. Go, okay, that's the spot I'm gonna try to do. I'm telling you, you do that, within three to 10 balls, you will be back up to perfect. Okay, so that's how you make changes. You overdo things. I can't go through all of them, I'm just giving you the idea. 
start overdoing it, you will back it off due to human nature, trying to get you comfortable. Okay, so you won't overdo it forever, but that's how you're gonna make changes super fast. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm gonna send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.